Welcome back to sine and cosine, the functions, part 5. In the previous videos, we were looking at how you can take a function and from that function sketch the graph. Now we're going to use the graph to find the function. The basic thing you have to remember for doing this is one period for sine or cosine is 0 to 2 pi. I think it's important to keep this in mind as we move forward because if you can't remember this, it's going to be very hard to find the equations of these graphs. So if we look at the first graph, let's look at this blue one, we see that it increases from 0 to 2 pi, it crosses and goes negative to a minimum, and then increases back to the equilibrium point at pi. That means that one period for this blue function is from 0 to pi. If we want to find the equation of this blue function, we need to somehow do something to this inequality so that it looks like the standard period for sine and cosine. I can make it look like that by multiplying all three parts of this tripartite inequality by 2. This gives me 0 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 2 pi. And so the middle of the inequality will be the inside of my sine function. I also see that the amplitude is 1, and there is no phase shift. So the sine function for the blue curve should be just sine of 2x. And there it is. Now let's look at the next one. We'll go with the green one this time. So if I look at the period for this green curve, we can see that we only have half of that and half just the positive side of the sine curve is from 0 to 2 pi, which means that one full period of this green curve would be on the interval from 0 to 4 pi. And if I find what this would be when I have 0 to 2 pi, I would have to divide everything by 2. And I get 0 is less than or equal to x over 2, less than or equal to 2 pi. So the inside of my sine function that represents the green line needs to be x over 2. That means the sine function for this green line will be f of x equals sine of x over 2. Now let's look at the orange graph. If I look at the orange graph, I can see that we have an interval from 0 to 2 pi where one period exists. And so clearly, we already have what we need. We have x in the middle. Our interval for one period matches the interval for one period for the standard curve. And so I don't have to do anything else. I just say that the function f of x is sine of x. For the next equation graph, we need to find the equation of the graph with amplitude 2 period 8 and assume it is the sine function. Again, we'll start with the given period for, for the sine function and that is from 0 to 8 pi and we want to change it so that it matches the standard period. 
That means I have to divide everything by 4. And I can also note that the amplitude is 2. And that gives me enough information. My interval will be from 0 to 2 pi with x over 4 in the middle. So my function f of x equals 2 sine of x over 4. Here's a more complicated one because not only is it asking for sine, it's also asking for cosine. Since cosine starts at a maximum, crosses through, goes to a minimum, and then comes back up to a maximum in one full period, I'm going to start with the cosine function to describe the equation of this curve. If I look at how this curve has a maximum at 2 and a minimum at negative 4, I can assume that the equilibrium is at negative 1, which means the graph has been shifted down one unit. I can still use the reference marks that are given by the x-axis, however, to determine the period. Currently, I have a period for cosine from 0 to pi. Since this is from 0 to pi, I need to get it to look like 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to multiply everything by 2. This gives me 0 is less than or equal to 2x is less than or equal to 2 pi. So the middle, the 2x, is what I put inside my cosine function. I can also see that the amplitude is 3. That's how high or low the function goes. And then I also have to check for phase shift. For cosine, there is none. So I can now write the equation of my cosine function. f of x equals 3 cosine of 2x minus 1, because I've shifted down one unit from the x-axis. Now let's look at the sine function. We know that the standard period for a sine function is also 0 to 2 pi. If we look at the graph given, the sine function starts at an equilibrium point and crosses from there to a maximum, then crosses over the equilibrium again, minimum, and then up to equilibrium again. So the interval for one period of the sine function will be from negative pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, which is helpful because now I just have to make it look like 0 to 2 pi. I have to manipulate this some way so that it gets to the inequality I want. That's my goal. And I don't really know what's going to be in the middle yet, but I know the outsides need to be 0 and 2 pi. My first step will be to subtract pi over 4 from all three, three pieces. Now I have 0 is less than or equal to x minus pi over 4, less than or equal to pi over 2. And now I need to multiply everything by 4. When I multiply 0 by 4, I just get 0 is less than or equal to 4x minus pi less than or equal to 2 pi. So the middle that I didn't know 
looks as if it is 4x minus pi. And the graph for the sine function is f of x equals 3 sine of 4x minus pi minus 1 and ta-da, we are done. Now your textbook may not do this quite the exact same way, but I just like to say that this works every single time. And so it is so cool to work with it. It may seem a little clunky at first, but once you get comfortable with how it works, every single time you try and graph these, it just works so beautifully.